Hey guys, Brian Bowman here with Disc Golf Examiner, back with another episode of Plastic Picasso, where we take a look at the hot stamps that make our sport cool. And uh, we're looking today at one of the drivers of what I would say is the art in our industry. We are proud to have today in the studio, Mike Insco, art director for MVP, Axiom, and Streamline Discs. Uh, Mike, great to have you on. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me, dude. Uh, you're based out of North Carolina right now, right? That's right. Holly Springs, North Carolina. It's like just southwest of Raleigh. Okay. A little, little burb. And you're yeah. running, running the art out of uh, Michigan-based MVP discs. That's right. Awesome. Yep. Telecommuting into MVP uh, full-time. It's a full-time gig. Um, love it. That's my setup back there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a 40-hour, 40, 50-hour 40, gig, so... It's good stuff. Awesome, man. Today mm -hmm. we are here to kind of talk. First off, I mean, you know how Plastic Picasso works. We're here to talk about, you know, art and whatever you really want to talk about. But specifically, you have a new disc out in Mike Sully Sullivan's Self Portrait series, which has just been great for my show because he just feeds me awesome artists and <laughs> lets them do kind of what they want. And today we're looking at. I gotta say, first off, Sully, he hooked me up with like the coolest plastic I've ever got in in the subscription service. But he hooked yeah. up this minty purpley with gold foil of your stamp titled Hold On, which is the prompt that you have for your self-portrait. Tell us about this stamp, how it's a self-portrait, and uh, what it kind of means. I'm guessing it has something to do with the era we're living in, but I also see like throwback vintage vibes. I kind of see this like it would be on the side of an airplane with a pinup model or something with it. <laughs> My wife does pinup modeling. That's why I bring it up. Yeah, like, yeah. that is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, first off, shout out to Mike. I mean, it's such, they get, you know, to trust these artists that he's creating to just, I don't know, like, hey, you do your thing. Like, what are you into? Like, what do you consider a self-portrait? I'm just like, to me, the ultimate self-portrait is to just be true to who you are, you know what I mean? I love, you know, counterculture, and and these, like, Judas Priest has definitely inspired, def, def, oh. definitely inspired this piece, you know what I mean? The, the Hellion. You know, okay. that's, that's my jam, like, that's what gets my gears going, and, you know, when he said, what do you want to do, I'm just like, man, there's so many things, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like, I did... I did uh, pages and pages of thumbnails just to finally figure out what I wanted to do. And um, Yeah, we'll put a link below. You have an awesome blog. You kind of did the work of this episode. Like, you detailed it. And I'm going to put the link below where you guys can read what Mike was thinking on this whole thing. But Judas Priest, I was wrong. I thought you were going with Wilson Phillips. Hold on. That's what, <laughs> that's what Man, you're going to Thanks, Sam. <laughs> yeah. But this is... No. Uh, or Bon Jovi. Yeah. Right, all right. And so yeah. explain just a little bit of the, you had an eagle with an eyeball, but I'm sure it's a little deeper than that. Yeah, you know, it was like, it wasn't like something I was thinking about at first, you know. At first I wanted to just make a cool stamp. Uh, I wanted to make something that, it, you know, tried to people's eyeballs and they liked looking at it. You know what I mean, like I, I, I wanted to look good first, you know. And then <laughs> about, about, you know, middle middle way through, I'm like, you know, we're in COVID, you know, COVID times. You know, and... If, if you know you're you're an artist trying to create in this kind of atmosphere that stuff's just going to reflect in your art you know it's it is what it is man like <laughs> right you know uh, you know you're not be the and disc golf you know what i mean exactly you know you had that interview with reed spot on man like, right you're not the first person who has like clearly been inspired one way or another with this and uh i just really like the idea that uh this whole series of self-portrait stamps has kind of been influenced by it. Uh, but It's crazy. I like, mean, it wasn't supposed to be like that, but it's like, how can he not think about that? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And it, to me, it was just like, for me, it was just like, it's like the country's so divided. You know what I mean? You got these guys over here, you got these guys over here, and they, they're just stuck in their trap. Like, there's no way you can get them to see this side. So I'm like, you know, like... You got this eagle way up, you know, so high in the sky. It's kind of like a, you know, a sort of analogy for like, take yourself out of the shoes you're in on that side 
and look down and, 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 and see what's, you know, what's happening, you know? A little bit of it's, an elevated it's, it's view. Simple, really. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not trying like to overcomplicate it. It's really, you know, look at what's happening, you know, and be present and, yeah, and just, you know, know, what, know what's going on. Don't, don't be, don't be silent and, you know, in the wings and just kind of know yeah. what's going on. In the wings. <laughs> That's it. But I'm chick, yeah. I like that. And definitely, like, yeah. really bold lines. I love the use of foil. I don't know if the gold was standard or anything. I know you'd get some artist runs and stuff, but uh, just... Thanks, uh, man. You can tell that this was... I, to me, I can tell this was made for foil. It wasn't made, like, as a line drawing or anything. I, I really dig it. Uh, what, what got you, like, you That's said... That's for sure. You You're said... Right. You're exactly right. You said you were going back to your roots, kind of, and stuff. How... Are you like a, you're a comic book guy, right? Or not really? No, no, no I am not. Which it's crazy to think that I, I was never into comics as a kid. Okay. You know, I was into like, like more like when I got into, um, into the concept art and started getting into games and stuff like that. Oh. I was starting to get into graphic novels, but like as a kid, no, I was into the cartoons and you know, uh, Red Fink. You know, I mean, that's a big inspiration. Okay. Man. There you um, go. And, and it rocks. Skateboard. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, skateboard. Head. Absolutely. <laughs> that Absolutely. leads me perfectly into the other skip I wanted to ask you about, which is the yeah. Castro knot, which is the new Jordan Castro uh, stamp. And when I first saw this, for some reason, the first thing I thought was Beastie Boys hip hop album for some reason. I don't know why, but I saw this and I was just like, this looks like an album cover as much as it is, as it is disc art. I like it a lot. <laughs> that's all. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. That was Castro Nat was totally Jordan's idea. We were we were vibing back and forth trying to figure out some ideas to do for him. I've never met him in real life. I just kind of seen pictures. I've watched video of him throwing rounds. He seems like a super cool dude, man. I, totally. I, I got I, to meet him. I have to meet him one day. Yeah, he just seems super yeah. humble. A super nice guy. It puts anybody in front of you know, like he's exactly. just that kind of person. I think they'll just, you know, put put himself before anybody else. And he's he seems to have like a, a, a humor side to him. I'm not. I'm, is he funny? <laughs> I don't know. He he, he he seems to be like just yeah. a chill guy. <laughs> exactly. A smile on his face all the time. I'm like, you know, I want to stand to reflect that in the kind of yeah. person he is. So I just talked to him a lot. He got to know him through Messenger and. He came with Castro. He's like, "Hey, you can put me in like an astronaut co costume, and we can do like a series of this. So there might be more series. We'll see next year. Depends on how busy I am, and maybe he's got different yeah. artists to do different different astronauts. But it's, I mean, a anything yeah. that is pun based, I am totally for. Because you did right. It's so cool. Didn't you do? You did Shock a Doodle Doo and the Shock the yes. and all this. <laughs> and that's you it's know, like, it's it's like these guys have you know. You know, they, they think of this stuff and they're like, hey man, can you do this? Like, and you know, the Italian shark is the one who does the, the shark to post and, you know, just, it's, that's all him. And he's like, can you do this? This, you know, what, what about this? And like, that, that sounds awesome, I can do that. Yeah. So they make it really easy for me. You know what I mean? They're like, this is kind of what I want. And then it's just kind of like, do your thing. You right. Know? So having that, having that trust from those guys, you know, to do that, it's, it's awesome. That's cool. So let's yeah. pivot real quick and talk about your day job. I mean, I know this is your day job, but art director yeah. for MVP. Uh, that's that's a really cool position in my book, obviously, because I like MVP and I throw MVP. But like, they have a they have a style. They have a brand, and it's evolved over the years. And now that you've come in, I can sort of tell like when you're how the brand is shifting a bit and i don't mean that in a bad way at all i mean i i totally like it you're you've blended your style with their brand mm -hmm. really well and i wanted to talk to you about like how does that work like <laughs> i don't draw uh, uh, my artist stuff is like in videos and music so i'm just always managing my brand i don't understand how you manage your own brand with another corporate brand and just you know tell us how that works like the the meat and bones of how your day goes with you know working with the, the crew in Michigan, kind of. Brian, you're gonna hate my answer. I, I, I don't try, you know what I mean? 
it's just kind of you do what you do. That's good. You know? Yeah, no, they, you they do good work to do and that. you get rewarded, right? <laughs> yeah. And I think as an art director, I think my job is more to put people in the right place to to do awesome art. You know what I mean? Like, for one of the, like, I, I do art, of course. Like, I'll, I'll do some practicing. I'm an MVP, but most of my job is finding talent to do what I can't do. You know, so I, I think the biggest role of art director is just making sure those pieces are going, the quality's up, and the artists fit what MVP and Axiom are, you know? That's, Does that make any sense? Okay. Dude, the, no, that totally hit the next level of past the question I was asking, which is perfect. <laughs> All right. No, man, that, that's yeah. exactly what I was looking for, a deeper answer than, you know, the, the surface level, what I do every day. It, that, that's great, because you, you know, I often forget that you're a team leader. That's true. You're not the only one putting stamps on MVP discs. And yeah, I mean, so it, you, it, it, you do you weigh in on other artists' stamps and stuff, or do, do you oh, just absolutely you do? Okay, okay. yeah, you know, and I, I, I'll just say our team is pretty tight, like, we we work well as a group. I mean, the entire marketing team, I, I don't just like you know, if, if I've got feelings, this you know, like I, I trust the, the marketing guys that are there on the call with me, and we go over stuff, you know, every week. we go over stuff we're working on. Hey, this is for the stamp I'm working on. What do you all feel about it? Like, like I trust their opinions. You know what I mean? I, I might have a, a certain route that I'm feeling, but like, I'll, I'll vibe with them and, and see if, if they get like super excited about this one idea that yeah. I thought was cool, but maybe I like this idea. We talk it through and yeah, I mean, it's, it, it really is a, a collaborative team effort at MVP. It's, it's pretty awesome. So let's let's go for example. We know from the Gyro Palooza video that like a ton of new molds are coming out. Do you guys have like a? I mean, say what you could say. I understand if you can't, but do you guys like have a set theme of like these molds are going to have this kind of new theme, or are things kind of evolving from before? Are you sticking? What's you got a lot of art yeah. coming up? I guess is my point. <laughs> 2020, yeah, 2020, 2021 is going to be crazy, and that's all I can say. But right. we, we we try to keep our naming, our mold naming, and everything into that very, the accent category, MVP category, right. streamline. Like that 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 is very, very much in our heads when when we're thinking of naming molds. So, yeah. Yeah, but what about the stamps, um, Mike? Tell me about the stamps. Oh man, I can't tell you about the stamps, man. I, I can't know. do it. But we have yeah, we have a lot. Can you think of like COVID? this year and how much it just shut everything down. So carry that stuff and carry it into 2021. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, and disc golf is thriving. Disc golf is like thriving and booming yes. right now. It's insane. Right? So, yeah. But I don't so, get yeah, to- So we, yeah, we have a tentative plan in 2021, but if we follow that yeah. plan, that's, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I wish I had Brad like right there be like- Who knows? Hey, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. How's that going? So we, we just roll with the punches, man. Like we have a, we, we took, we have a, a certain set date for everything coming out, but it's, you know, you gotta roll with it. You, you really can't stress too much about it. You just gotta keep stuff moving. We try to be at least two or one or two months ahead to kind of avoid okay. some of these, these issues, but it's, it's production. And in, you know, we've been moving everything in house, so it's, it's even more kind of. Can you say, ways. you got any Halloween stamps coming out? Halloween is a good time for disc golf stamps. We have, we have, we have something coming. I can't tell you when, but there yeah. is there's a Halloween stamp coming. Yeah. Soon TM, right? Yeah. It's soon. Yeah, right. hopefully it comes up. So, do you get yeah. out to play disc golf at all? I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked that. I don't. I, I've gone four rounds in since March. Four rounds. Yep. That's it. So you know I've just gotta, been you know gotta print it. hanging them on the wall, not even throwing them. You know, I got a pregnant wife with twins coming, and I have yeah. a four-year-old daughter. I don't. Congratulations! I, I wish I got out more. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish I got like if I get out, like there's a there's a park down the street from me called Jones Park. It's in Holly Springs, and there's like this little I can play like one, one A one B, and I cycle to like two, and then I play eight and nine, and I'm done. Like it's a little like mini loop. Yeah. It's not even like half a loop. It's like a mini loop, and then I have to you know what I mean. I built a I mini loop. I've been playing a couple weeks. I built a mini loop of putting practice in my backyard. That's been my project all summer. But when yeah, you I are, got, I, when you are, I got throwing, a basket in the garage. But that's it. Yeah. When you are throwing, let's let's say what's your yeah. 
if you have a one disc round and you're just going to a random park, what is your one disc you're taking? What's your mold? What's the Insco go-to? Dude. Is this a big course or a pitch? Uh, no, no questions. Damn it, You man. don't know. Okay. You get one disc and we're leaving. And get in the car, man. Dude. <laughs> pilot. Pilot. Electron pilot. That's cool. I like it. Do you throw pilots? Do you throw electron pilots? Yeah. No. I, in Let my backyard when I'm putting, yes. Okay. I have. You I don't have, throw them, though. Not, not necessarily. I, I have. I don't mind them at all, but I'm an envy guy. So I like. I feel like I have that covered. But it was weird. You. I've found that I pat, putt in my backyard with a stack of like 25 putters, and there's probably 10 molds in there. And if I just ignore what mold it is, I make way more putts. I just put it in the basket and don't worry where it's going. So I've been kind yeah. of like ignoring the mold, but I found that the pilot is like my second. If I'm not using an Envy, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to be using a pilot for putting, you know? I They're so straight, them. man. Like, I, I feel like I'm cheating when I'm throwing that putter. It just like pops up and just, you know what I mean? It's like. I can't, I can't argue that. It definitely lands flat. My Envy always lands on a little bit of hyzer, so, and the Pilot definitely lands flat. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll definitely lead the Pilot, for sure. So, Watch your Pilot. Yeah. Watch your Pilot. Team Squadron. Right. So yeah. anything you want to hype up? I'm going to direct everybody to your blog and put a bunch. Thank you. I'm going to put a bunch of art and stuff up here, probably like a little scroll, because you have so many stamps that are good like i was looking at my wall I, thank I have, you man i have the queen charlotte up there uh and that's the only one of yours I actually have on the wall at this time but this one's definitely going on there my sign right astro is definitely going up there yeah going on the wall yeah. and when I, I looked at your your scroll of art i was just like man I, I didn't realize how much stuff you did outside of mvp and stuff too like you've done a lot of this for people over the years so like people yeah, need to know 2014 man yeah, 2014, they got my first gig. 2014. Um, Zach hired me to do the Axiom Artist series. So the Soul Springer Clash was my very first disc golf stamp. You when you know. say Zach, who are you talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. Zach Kelbaugh. He was I, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, well, yeah, I you, got, you got one of his stands behind you. Yeah. I haven't had an episode yet where uh, Zam has Yeah, where's brought. he at? He, yeah. Me and Zam chat all the time. We both play synths. We both you know, sit at home while we're working on the computer. He blows me off every time. So I'm calling him out. <laughs> you can call him out too. He's going to be on here. We're just trying to think of something different to do. And, uh, you know, he's got kids. I've, I've got a kid. We're getting old. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you, might, you probably have a better shot with Scoboy. Like that's, that's gotta be your next one. He's on. Duncan. I, I, I've talked to everybody. The problem is I'm slower than the amount of content I can get from guys. So like, dude, Duncan is a beast. He's been putting out stuff yeah. steady. So, that, um, absolutely. Really enjoyed the, uh, really enjoyed the read interview that you did previously. That was, that was cool. Guys, uh, upcomer. It's somebody I, I, I want to collab with. Yeah. He's super talented. So super, like, thank you for doing the, these series. It's pretty awesome. Hey man, it's, it's, e it's easy enough for me. You guys do the hard work. I just ask you about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if there's anybody you want to thank or anything you want to hype, uh, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to thank uh, MVP. I mean, well, I started with MVP as a contractor shortly after 2014, uh, probably 2016 as a freelancer. <laughs> and it's been just kind of, I freelanced and then worked into a full-time gig. And that kind of worked into the art director, so I gotta thank them for where I'm at right now. Uh, and my wife, of course, she puts up with me working long hours, and right. <laughs> and uh, for everyone who really gave me an opportunity to, you know, do a stamp for them and and just put their trust in me to deliver something for them, you know, that's really, yeah, that's that's what right. I got. It's great to see a company that lets you do what you're good at and doesn't, you know tell you you're wrong maybe they do but it doesn't seem like it because all the stamps come out awesome and you know you guys see that it. man yeah absolutely now they, uh, brad and chef have, have a lot of trust in us and you know if they didn't like what what we did as a marketing department you know a lot of us wouldn't have jobs right now so they're super <laughs> awesome absolutely all right guys again we were here with art director from mvp Mike Insco coming out of North Carolina. 
I'm Brian Bowman for Disc Golf Thanks, Examiner. This was Plastic Picasso, and uh, until next time, keep banging those chains.